What's up guys, got another tutorial here in Photoshop. This one's for an animated GIF, mixing video and Photoshop all together in one. So I'm gonna jump right into this tutorial, but right after this really quick break. Okay, so we're back in Photoshop. We're just gonna do this really quick file place embedded, and look at this, Amazon recording. That's actually an MP4 file. Now we're gonna do that, but we're also going to come over here and grab this phone on car seat and place it. That's gonna put it right there. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, enter, and then we're gonna go up to file, place embedded, and I'm gonna grab this Amazon recording, but I'm not gonna use it, I'm kidding. All right, we're gonna go to um, window and timeline and check this out. We now have this timeline, which we can edit all this cool stuff. So I'm going to bring this phone on the car seat back to the beginning and we'll leave that there. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take this phone on the car seat and add a square to it, or a rectangle. And then I'm going to convert that into a smart object. Now that's going to allow me to move it after I add what I want into it. So let's just call this smart object, enter, double click on it. And that's going to open into a new tab, not that one. Um, now what we're going to do is zoom in a bit and go to file place embedded and grab this Amazon record place it in there and we'll size it appropriately about right there and Let's just get that black out of the way. We don't want that black go. Okay. Now if I play this back You can see that it is actually an inch Okay, so let's grab just a piece of that. We don't need a thing Go that far and then we'll here. Go moving. Okay, cool. Now let's save this. And if we go back to our animation, if look at this, we could play it back and it's actually moving, but it looks kind of funny. So let's size it to this screen. We'll uh, turn the opacity down just a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Control T to transform. And uh, what we're going to do is start moving this here here now this phone actually has a reflection on it so it's not going to look as good but if we place this right here grab a couple of handles guys let's take the opacity all the way up so we've got a little bit off here so we can see grab that and kind of get right there here to this side see how we're kind of green there like so hit enter and let's come back and see how that looks. That looks okay. Um, might grab this little corner here and see if we can do it. Maybe about right there. Just a little bit better. So, a little bit off, but watch what happens. And I'm going to take this into full screen so that you can focus on this. There we go. And if I play this back, you can see that check that out. I've got an animated image. Now, I have a couple of options here. Let me come out of here. I can stop that, open up our timeline panel. Okay, it's done. Now, I can even come up here, file, and then export, and render video. Now, if I render video, look at this. I can do animated GIF MP4. So this will actually let me render out an MP4 file. So it's an, actually video, an actual video file. So we'll go ahead and render that out. And then this will take just a few seconds. Now this is actually rendering everything. And you can also see the frames per second down here. We're gonna go to File, Export, Save for Web with Legacy in parentheses. And you're gonna have all these cool different options. And this might take a minute to load. Uh, let's see, cause this is why it's legacy forever. And then you have all these different options up here. So you can set some presets if you want. Um, here's where you can change your file format. So you can go GIF, PNG, all this stuff, but we want GIF because that's what's going to give us our animation. Change our colors. We'll just do 256 and we'll leave transparency on. And then we're going to make this image size much smaller. So let's do like 25%. And then that's, that would create this size image. Click. Second. It's re-rendering to go even smaller to the 300 by 180 image. All right. Now we're going to click save and we have all these options 
Go to my desktop and we will call it animated gif. .gif. Sounds good. Uh, under format, you can do HTML if you want to click save. Go to the desktop. Now we have our MP4 file, which is the animation. Doesn't work. It's here. Okay. This is our video, the .mp4 file. Cool. Close that out. Here's our GIF image. Works. Aw, oh, snap. Chrome broke. But look at that. Look at that little GIF image. Pretty neat. A good way for you to get those animations and do it in Photoshop. So that's it for this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.